We always dream about five-star hotels. We dream about being powerful, rich, famous. And then if you do get any of thing of these things in this material world, you're surrounded by envy, complication, fear to lose it. And you cannot appreciate that really your soul is nothing but longing for true love. And this true love, it depends on sincere heart-to-heart -heart relationships. True love does not depend on sophistication, on great intellectualism. True love depends on the flute song of Brindavan, where Krishna plays his flute and he steps on the bank of the Jamuna with his Gopas and Gopi friends and he enchants the whole world. He is the infinite enchanter. He is the one who gives us joy. He is the one who will take us into his eternal world if we aspire for that. I wish I could take you on this wonderful journey back to home, back to Godhead. This was the invitation my spiritual master Srila Prabhupada gave to all of us, his disciples. Back to home, back to Godhead. Don't stay in this material world where everything you do, everything you collect is just bound to be lost, bound to be wasted. And your very own body is wasting away as well. But if you give your full attention to the love of Vrindavan, to the love which Srila Prabhupada taught us, you will be on your way back to home, back to God. You can chant the holy name. You can chant the deep invocation to Krishna's presence into your life. Oh my Lord, please let me be an instrument of your love. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Please chant, and you will never be the same again, and you won't repent either. yoga of love is the yoga of Vrindavan. The whole world is into yoga. They all think by doing a few exercises they can achieve something very well. But actually what's hidden behind the yoga is the invitation of joining with the Supreme Lord in the heart, becoming one with God in purpose and that unity, that love which emanates from within of you, this is the true union of the soul with God and connecting us with every brother and sister in the planet. The real yoga of love, of course, vegetarian. Every yogi who is serious must be a vegetarian. But it makes you the best father, the best mother, the best brother, the best caretaker because love is everything for you. You cannot live without love and the yoga of love which you enter into by invoking this transcendental grace through the names of God, it will never leave you as long as you keep aspiring for it. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Simple little high thing. What do you really need to be happy? Come on, my friend. You don't need opulence. All you need is dust. Raj Raj. 
This is the greatest joy, the greatest gift. It is the dust which was touched by the lotus feet of the gopis, by the lotus feet of Lord Krishna himself. This dust, which you can eat, you can put it on your head. It is purification. Raj Raj is the sacred dust of Vrindavan, and it makes us so happy, and it makes us so rich, and we got plenty of it. You can come and share with us. It will always be here. And it's right on the bank of the sacred river Yamuna. This dust is better than gold and diamonds. It is the truth. It is the love of Lord Krishna. Even Lord Brahma, the Creator, wants to take birth in Vrindavan so that the dust of the feet of the gopis will touch upon his head. Simple living, high thinking, it means to be grateful for what you have. Because unless you're grateful, you just don't know what you're having. So, come and taste the taste of brunch, the higher taste, the simple taste, the opulence of love in the association of the devotees. <laughs> Eternal joy, that's something we aspire for, perennial happiness, perennial existence, to go beyond this body, but to still stay yourself, to still be truthful to yourself, to develop yourself, to, to be in the mood of evolution for your soul towards the highest goal. Maybe we can perfect our life in this lifetime. Maybe. Depends on us, last not least. But even if we perfect this lifetime, there's more existence to come. It's in positive and progressive immortality we are aspiring for. So, really, the perennial joy our soul is longing for, this is found in love and surrender, in giving our best, the maximum capacity of our heart, the fullest attention, so that we will really live according to the ideal of love. The eternal existence is the existence of love, because without love, we don't really have a great advantage of having a permanent existence. Therefore, love is the goal, and love is the way, and love is the instrument to reach there. And Bhakti Yoga is the path of loving devotional service, which will awaken this love within us. <laughs> 